Koga, the king of the couch. Is there no piece of furniture I own that you don't try to claim? Nope, there is not. Camp Adventures. Good morning. Welcome back to Gimp Adventures. So, migraine's gone. Yeah, it sucked. Uh, I tried doing what the doctor told me, which was to lay off on the painkillers and just try to, you know, power my way through it. Yeah, that didn't work with the shit. Uh, Mel basically came in and called me an idiot for listening to him and called him an idiot. So the next time I see the doctor, I'm going to request uh, either to get some kind of painkillers for um, my migraines or to see a migraine specialist because that was not fun. That was really bad. That was the worst that I've ever had um, last night. But uh, today, uh, Mel and I are going to go thrift store bouncing and uh, hit up the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go to Ace Hardware to get a couple things for the Fake Bomb. Uh, I'm really looking forward to doing this. I really hope I find some good stuff. So I'm sitting here just chilling, playing some Minecraft, getting ready to head out with Mel. And I look down and I see this. That fuzzy thing sticking out from underneath the cat cube here. Yeah, and my first thought was, holy shit, what the hell kind of thing snuck in here. It was like, did the little kitten sneak in here from somewhere? Because neither of my cats are that colored. And then I realize what it is. It's a stupid ferret toy. They always push their damn toys in the weirdest spots. Sam, you are crazy. And little Jack-Jack back there, I'm just waiting for you to attack him. And I want to see the, the fighting in this cardboard shack that I have passed to you guys since my cats ignore it now. And Get him, Jack-Jack! Apparently Jack-Jack is Super Jack-Jack because... right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Because you see that? That is what is left over from a child lock. The same kind of child locks I have on my cupboards. Not the ones that I got at Walmart that COVID broke in five minutes, no. These ones are nice, like, super hardcore. He ripped it off. Ripped the adhesive right off. He was hungry. I'm, I'm not sure if that's more or less impressive than Koga snapping the plastic on the ones that I got at Walmart. But either way, Super Jack Jack, Nar Nar Sam. Okay, so we're back from uh, bouncing around to thrift stores. Uh, things got cut kind of short because Mel got a text from Mike that he needed her to come down, which usually means he thinks he might pass out. So that kind of happens from time to time with people that, you know, with quadriplegics because they have issues with their blood pressure fluctuating and whatnot. So we kind of ended up having to stop what we were doing and run back here. But uh, that's kind of why I didn't get a lot, get anything vlogged when we were out and about. But uh, I've got just about everything I need. Uh, to do to make the fake bomb for Mike's birthday present. Um, I got this digital old school looking clock with a nice big huge display. Uh, I've got a battery. 
to kind of power it. Uh, I have this tin that I bought that I'm going to put it in and I have some uh, glossy black spray paint to spray paint the can with. You know, just the outside. But uh, it'll look you know, something like this. You know, the battery will be down there. The clock will be there like that. Kind of hard to do one-handed. And the clock will sit in there. And then the fake C4 will be up here. And then there will be wires running around it. So, and for wire, uh, I actually, well, kind of lucked out with this. Um, this tower fan of mine uh, has finally kaput on me. So, what I did uh, is I cut the cord off it, and I'm going to use this for my wire. Um, I'm trying to get the battery to be able to power the clock, although for right now it's not wanting to work, but uh, I'll have to play with it a little bit. I should be able to get it to work somehow, but uh, it'll just be a little bit of playing. But, uh, I'm going to cut a hole in the back of the tin uh, after I spray paint it and uh, Mike will be able to run the cord from the alarm clock out of that hole and he will be able to use it as a functional clock uh, which will be cool. Uh, I'm really psyched about making this. Uh, I think it will be just great. Uh, I wish I could have found a square tin to put it in, but, you know, it was 50 cents, and it won't roll around that much, and I can, like, tape a couple pencils to the bottom of it, and with the weight of the battery, you know, it'll stay pretty good, so, but it's going to look awesome when it's done. So, it's playtime with Sam and Jack-Jack. Uh, this is a toy that I bought at, um... Petco the other day and we we've discovered that between the two of these idiot cats that we have one complete cat because Jack Jack loves the chase Sam does not Jack Jack doesn't want to catch something he doesn't understand what to do with it once he has it, because I could plop it right down, and he see he's all confused. He doesn't know what the hell to do. But that one is all about the catching and the killing. See, but see, this one is all about the chase. This is a an awesome toy that you can get at like any pet co because if you see it as it's flying through the screen here, it flutters like a bird. And they love it. Yeah, it's a butterfly catcher, so. He used to be a monster. He's not a monster anymore. Ah, he just wrapped around his tail. Get it, Sam. Go get it. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. I get it. Get it. Ah, he got it. Crap. See, with him, I don't have to worry about him picking it up and running off of it because he just don't get it but that one I have to keep my eye on I'm trying to bend over and not fall out of my chair with one arm that was funny Ugh. he landed on my arm to get the feather or my leg sorry and he, his claws started to come out and he looked at me oh that's mommy she'll yell at me I'm going to detract my claws 
Yet, this one, as I was making him run back and forth earlier, he ran into my foot, like jumped up and just body slammed my foot. He's crazy. It, total blood force trauma, no like claws, nails, Hi. nothing. It flipping Hi. hurt. People prefer to say I'm easily frightened. Yep, I've seen a or something up with this thing, and I just don't really need it around. Are you interested in dolls? I wonder if there's something odd about them. Oh, oh, I've been trolled with dummy that seems to be possessed. How's the angle on the TV down there? Oh, there you go. Uh, supposedly from the 30s, it was a gift to a middle child. Hi. Uh, family of five children. You should maybe move that before you end up staining your floor. Oh, that too bad. Of course, the father didn't believe the story. Uh, packed him up, put him in the attic, and the little son, who it was a gift to when the father died, cleaning out the house, found this doll again. Mm -hmm. And of course, he was. Smell my butt. He remembered yep. the assault. Wasn't too happy about the fact that he was found uh, and passed him on to a relative. And through that relative is where I ended up getting. Unfortunately, the boy of living with a cat. So, he has to go. Actually, it's a genuine phobia. It's a condition called automatonophobia. Human ventures, making our way one push at a time.